Something else we're pretty excited about is the uh, the sort of September-ish weather almost we're going to be getting <laughs> for the next week, Keith. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me say this, Pat. I, I looked it up. I thought it was more like early October, but September 20th yeah. is uh, is about wow. what this And we this love September, right? We've established that September is a great month. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So let's go back to it. We'll do that right. for, for about a week or so. Uh, 64 in Portland. Like I said, I looked it up as September 20th, uh, thereabouts was our average. 70 in Sanford, 60 in Bangor, 52 in Millinock, and 57 in Caribou. So these temperatures obviously way up there and uh, it will preclude us having a pretty mild night here because the temperatures this time of year are driven by air mass it's not so much about sunshine the sun angle is actually pretty weak uh, as you head into early to mid November so these temperatures tonight are air mass driven in the upper 40s mid 40s and a couple of 30s out there but way above average there as well now tomorrow morning we're going to start with a decent amount of cloud cover don't be discouraged by that though it doesn't last all that long and we clear it out by I'd say late morning so we're talking 9 or 10 and then after that it's sunny temperatures back into the mid 60s in a lot of spots and then we kind of do it again on Saturday a few clouds in the morning end up sunny in the afternoon Saturday might be even warmer I think it will be warmer than tomorrow in the upper 60s and there'll be a few more scattered 70s around and then there's a little uh, fly in the ointment on Sunday for parts of the state but it's the northern third of the state this front will kind of sag back down remember it's all about this warm front being up in Canada that's why we're so mild right well now the front on Sunday comes down just for a little little bit and that cools down northern Maine look at caribou for example in the afternoon south of the front though still relatively mild right around 60 degrees so that will be kind of a split state forecast, but it'll be a two thirds, one third kind of situation. Then back to the warm statewide on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, all of these days look mild. We do take a bit of a step back on Sunday to 60, 61 or 62 on Monday. And then we really finish strong before a front comes through 70 on Tuesday, upper 60s to around 70 on Wednesday. Then a front comes through. The front is exactly Arctic though. We're still in the upper 50s on Thursday afternoon. Marine forecast sees around three to five feet. I wanted to show you the drop monitor, but I think I forgot it. Uh, it's still out there, especially on the coast. We still have a severe and moderate drought. Uh, water temperature 51 and southwest winds gusting to 20 knots. So, I mean, it's not much to complain about. It's worth noting that this shower here is just across northern Maine with that front. The rest of us are dry. We stay mild Monday and Tuesday, and some late showers come through on Wednesday afternoon that will start to cool us back down. Uh, in addition to our normal computer models guides, they run these mid-range models that are 10 to 15, sometimes 20 days out. They're broad strokes, right? Um, yeah. But the broad strokes are mild, so we may be able to return to some above average temperatures in a little bit. And what's surprising is the daylight is so short right now, and yet we're still hitting, as you say, maybe 70 degrees. Yeah, you got to do it at like 12 or 1 o'clock this time of the year. <laughs> it's it's got to be right down the middle, you know? So run outside yes. right at lunchtime. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. We're back after this.